What up YouTube, thanks for watching yet again. This is the 14th month update. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get to post the 12 month update because I guess I was traveling through Europe too much and I guess I was just too busy. But between then and the last update of the 11th month, I guess I've been traveling through the Netherlands, up to Germany, Denmark, Sweden, uh, Czech Republic, then I went off to Belgium, France, even hit Monaco, a little tiny country, and then I went to Italy, Switzerland, Austria, <laughs> Hungary, uh, Slovenia, then down to Croatia, then Montenegro, Bosnia, and Serbia, uh, then went to Bulgaria, crossed the Turkish border, which I'll talk about in a second, and then went down to Greece. Uh, about the Turkish border thing, basically my visa wasn't supposed to happen until like, let's say the 8th of November, and I entered technically the 7th of November, so Technically, the border guard kind of smuggled me in, and my buddy Max, did that matter. Um, we got our bus arrived to the border about an hour and a half too early, and then the guy, when he stamped my passport, kind of just smudged the stamp so you couldn't actually read the time that we came in. So it's debatable whether or not I came in on the 8th or the 7th. But then the other interesting part is leaving Turkey. The only and the best way for me to leave Turkey, I guess, through the border that I wanted to go through was we had to be dropped off by a bus to a city in Turkey called Edirne and then we walked for like 12, 10, 12 kilometers uh, across the border but then after we passed the Greece, I mean the Turkish border, then about just before we got our passport stamped in Greece, we were still too early so then we had to wait about five four or five hours in like no man's land between the two borders and the duty free zone and then we finally got to Greece stamped the passport and that's where I am now in Greece I, actually uh, today I'm gonna be getting on a ferry to go over to Italy so that's all fun but this is a dreadlock talk so let's get back to the matter so my dreadlocks are now 14 months old and as you can see they are maturing quite a bit Ew. they're a little bit fluffy right now I actually I just went swimming in the beautiful salt water here in Greece, here's your little 360 view, and it was so salty, but it was good though because after that, I was just wanted to let the salt kind of stay in it for a little while to give some nice friction to the dreads to kind of bind them up even more. And back in the Netherlands, I actually ended up buying all these beads. There's like one here. I actually don't know where they all are anymore. Uh, strange not knowing where the things in your own hair is. Uh, yeah, but not about beads. Wait, there's a big one. Yeah, there we go. And if you can actually see, it's a little bit hard to see, but that is a, almost looks like a beer stein. <laughs> so I guess that was my commute to Munich when I went there for Oktoberfest. That was fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the dreads, they get longer. They're about here right now. And they're not gonna do anything but get more long and more luscious and beautiful. Just some scooters going by. Anyway, yeah, so I guess all is good. Um, I don't know if I have any issues currently. I'm having some more the loose hair issue, but as I said in the last video, I don't really care anymore. It's kind of like just it's natural enough. So I mean, it's like dreads aren't meant to be perfect. I mean, you can have perfect dreads. It's, it's your choice. It's your hairstyle. But this is what I want, and it's working. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll just give you another 360 tour really quick. I'll flip them around. Do some other stuff. Well, this is actually the moment, I guess, that I can completely tie them all back now um, without any issues other than the one in the, this dread in the front is a little bit short, so I just kind of like weave that underneath other dreads. But I can do this and practically get all tied back. So that's really good. Uh, I just waiting for the day when I can just take my dreads and wrap them all together. But anyway, <sighs> Yes, yeah, I'm gonna be late if I keep on talking because the bus is gonna leave to take me over to uh, Italy with the ferry and such. But um, yeah, the next update will be in a couple of months. Until then, thanks for tuning in. And I guess, see you later.